My friends, today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on how Line of Sight works in Fantasy Grounds Unity and how you can add it to your maps. So this map we made in our previous video using map tiles that were are provided by Fantasy Grounds Unity for free. As you can see from these colored lines, these are the Line of Sight designators. Uh, these ma The map tiles that we used had Line of Sight built into them. So what does that really mean? Uh, what does line of sight really mean? When you go to the play tab and hit enable line of sight, this is what it will look like from the dungeon master view. The uh, shaded, the darkly shaded areas are what will be completely black for the players. When you or your player select a token, you will be able to see their line of sight. And as they move, their line of sight will change. And then for this blue area, this was a door, which can be open and closed. All right, so let's check out some of the more advanced line of sight features and give a give a step by step of how to do this. Um, so here we have a blank map. Uh, I've added a couple of line of sight features already, just because they're a little bit complicated. I didn't want to make you sit through watching me draw them. Let's ignore them for now and start with the basics. So here are the different types of line of sight. In this video, we're going to focus on walls, terrain, doors. We're going to skip these. We are going to do pit. All right, so starting off with walls. First, you choose which type of line of sight you're going to do. We're going to do walls. Then you choose whether you're selecting or drawing. And you can choose to either draw a line, a rectangle, or a circle. We're going to start off with this room and therefore we selected rectangle. All right, so these are walls which the player won't be able to see through. We're also gonna make a door. So here we can see the little doorway. A reminder door, uh, for doors you can see into them but you can't see through them. Then we're actually gonna go back to walls, make another rectangle because we need to have nodes that we can delete. So all these little white squares, these are nodes. So this is where the selection uh, tool comes in. So we can select these three nodes and delete them. And that will delete this portion of the wall. Okay, easy enough. Uh, now we're gonna make another big rectangle. We're just gonna make sure that that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, so if you hit Control Z, there is an undo function. Um, we're just going to make sure that our player's line of sight can't go outside of this room. Um, there's also a line tool. So if you want to just do point by point, we've selected wall and line, and you just click to make any shape that you want. And then when you're finished, you just double click your last point. Now it's finalized. And then another uh, tip is that you can um, use the rectangle to just kind of finesse a bit. Um, it's just a little bit easier to have the rectangles because they'll make straight lines. And you just want to make sure that there's overlap because um, if there is an overlap and there's a little bit of a gap, then players will be able to see through to your rooms that you don't want them to be able to see. So, so overlap there. Okay. So then I mentioned doors. That's the part in blue. Um, we mentioned terrain. That's the part in green and pit. That is the dotted line which encompasses this whole area over here. So everything below this walkway. All right, so let's take a peek at what that looks like. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the player's point of view. Their screen will probably appear completely black until they click on their token. So here is the wall. Looks like we had a little glitch for some reason. Um, we can open the door. So here's their line of sight. 
And then as you can see, they are not able to see over this terrain feature. They can see into it, but they can't see past it. So as they walk through, this is what their line of sight is. And just so you know, terrain can be a little finicky when you're doing weird shapes. It's better to do um, a simple shape instead of such a weird oblong one like this. And then as they come around, as they are able to see an enemy, that is when the player, uh, that is when the enemy will appear for them. So again, moving back and forth here, as soon as they move out of line of sight, the player will stop being able to see the NPC. Okay, also for terrain, once you move up into terrain, the same principle applies in reverse. So now the player is on the terrain and they are not able to see past it. If you as the DM are thinking maybe it makes sense from over here that they can't see past over to the lower floors, but if they're over here and you think they should be able to see, you can just uh, turn that on and off by going into the play mode and then changing it from closed to open. So now the player is able to see down below. All right, let's uh, let's start this over. Now you can also see that the player where this was entirely black before, now that the player has seen it, uh, it is shaded gray so that they know they remember what the what the room looked like, but they can't see what's happening in it in terms of like enemies or other stuff there. Uh, next up, I want to show you the pit. So everything that's shaded red right now, which is everything below this uh, pathway, is a pit, which I use to just mean it's a lower level. So I'm going to turn that on now. All right, so as the player enters the pit, we can see that they're no longer able to see past, but they are still able to see this enemy, which is a little strange, right? So keep in mind that the pit will work a little bit better than terrain for uh, a, a large uh, shape kind of like this, but that it won't work for enemies at this time. Maybe Fantasy Grounds will update it. Um, and then what happens with terrain when you move up, in, or what happens with the pit, you actually, as a player, you can't move out of the pit. You have to have the dungeon master do it for you. But once you move out of the pit, you're able to see everything below you. That's the difference between a pit and terrain at this time. So I hope this, uh, I hope this video was helpful and best of luck with the mapping. Feel free to check the description below for the link to all of my tutorials on Fantasy Grounds Unity.